Hello everyone. In today's video, I will guide you through the steps to create a booklet in Google Docs. This process is simple and allows you to format your document so it works well as a booklet. Follow the steps carefully to set everything up properly. Start by opening your document in Google Docs. Once you have it open, go to the menu at the top and click on File. From the drop-down menu, select Page Setup. In the Page Setup window, adjust the margins. Set the top, bottom, left and right margins to 0.5 inches. After entering these values, click OK to apply the changes. Next, go to the menu bar again and click on Format. From the options that appear, select Columns and then choose More Options. A new dialog box will appear where you can customise your columns. Set the number of columns to 2. Make sure to check the box that says Line Between Columns. Once this is done, click Apply to confirm your changes. Now that the columns are set, you need to structure the content for the booklet. Click on Insert from the top menu and then go to Break. From the list of break options, choose Column Break. This will insert a visible line separating the two columns. You can now type or paste your content into either column. When entering your text, remember that the left and right columns represent different pages of your booklet when printed. You can organise your content accordingly, keeping in mind how it will appear when folded. If you need to add more pages, repeat the process of inserting column breaks to continue creating space for additional content. You can also format text, add images or include headers and footers as needed to complete your booklet design. Once your booklet is complete, you can print it. To ensure the layout is correct, go to File and then select Print. In the Print settings, choose the option for double-sided printing or flip on short edge if your printer supports it. This will ensure the pages are aligned properly when folded. That is how you create a booklet in Google Docs. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.